piece by piece, again, because I've been here for as long as I have been here, the sense of community has been vast. Um, it grew over time. New people, of course, come in. Some people have exited. It's by no means the same group as when I first entered into piece by piece. But one of the things is that when I'm very aware of shared needs and issues that we have, and so the community is around those shared concerns, whether it had to do, um, this being also a social enterprise company, there are many levels of shared relationships, whether it was housing, uh, food equity, whatever these things were, art, all of these things come together. And so the community, I think, has tried to be supportive. I think we've tried to come together. And I think the more we work on those commonalities, the further we get. Wow. Sense of community. Well, when you're homeless and living on the streets and don't have family or people, um, Piece by Piece gave me uh, encouragement. They opened their doors and arms to me. Um, there was no, no rejection. There was no prerequisite or anything. Um, when someone takes you in a program and accepts you as you are, with flaws and all, um, it's a certain camaraderie there. It's a family since a family, and I love that. So, yeah. Yes, I have. You know, it has been so difficult with finances. Piece by Piece is one of the companies sort of created to directly address the issue of poverty. And however, no sooner is the money earned than the money's gone. So it's how the system is still working. It is uh, unbalanced and unstable, in my opinion. So I have been able to, but what that means in the world is unknown because the money is so unstable. <laughs> well, I was able to move out of the uh, Skid Row area, out of the ghetto and into another ghetto, but this ghetto I live in is a little bit much better. Um, I was able to get housed and um, earn some money, uh, being able to come up with my first and last month's rent and uh, just be able to be able to buy decent food and choices that I could make when you have earned income. It's some, it's a, there's a certain pride attached to that too, but it's not so much the money, but it's the sense of camaraderie, of, of belonging that really, that's all I really wanted, you know? So, that yeah, the money's cool. Valuable, right? The money's fine, but it's about being part of community and giving back, yeah. Yes. Uh, I started here in August of last year, and it's nice to earn, when you go from working permanently full-time to nothing, it leaves you with no purpose. And I hate to say money is a purpose, but it's not the money, it's the going in and it's doing the job. I mean, I don't think of this as a job, I think of this as fun, but it just made me feel like I was still a productive member of society. bastante maestra me ha ayudado me ha apoyado bastante eso uh -huh. sí porque sí he tenido problemas pues porque por la edad también como que no estoy como quien dice que no me están esperando como agua de mayo para darme trabajo uh -huh. verdad y entonces es un gran apoyo de mis compañeros ha sido un aprendizaje desde que llegué muy grande Aprendí a compartir con mucho, muchas personas de diferentes nacionalidades, en diferentes estados de, de ánimo, en diferentes situaciones, que también a veces hay compañeros que han estado, que ha sido su vida más difícil que la mía. Eso me ayudó a ver que mi vida no, no era tan difícil como yo la veía. Eso me ayudó a, a cambiar un poquito más mi carácter, ser un poquito más tranquilo, pero más más me, me ayudó a conocer diferentes tipos de, de gente, sus costumbres, sus, sus, este, sus anécdotas y parte de su vida. Uh, after living on that concrete jungle on Skid Row, what inspires me is that I know that within myself that I could change it, that I don't have to be a statistic, that I have something I can bring to the table and create uh, 
I, what inspires me is life. You know, each one teach one, reach one. Um, one, one, fill up a basket. And uh, to learn some skills that um, has empowered me to want to create art. And, you know, people really dig it, and I like to make people smile. Uh, there's a certain freedom about expression of art that I never had before. Never had a voice to really say or show what was in myself. So, yeah. Oh my God, it's, I look so forward to these classes and this learning that it's, it's the best thing. I, I make an effort. It takes, it would take an earthquake and I'm not sure that would stop me from coming. Uh, but you've, you've just really just remarkably made me a stronger person. Well, piece by piece has catapult me to be a better woman, to be a proud black woman, to know that what I create has meaning and purpose. And that real beauty that I have is not on the outside, but it's inside of me. So I thank God for piece by piece for bringing that out. If I talk, I'm going to start crying, Don. I think we're good. Okay. I think we're good. <laughs> thank you, Judy. Oh! I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> if it were not for these people, we would not have survived. Every month they came up with classes online. We laughed, we joked around, we learned. And every time you sent out a package, it was like, <gasps> we'd all be standing in our mailboxes waiting for those packages because once you got them, you could do something, you know? And it, 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 it really, really, helped get through the pandemic.